Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat were one of the last teams bounced out of the NBA playoffs. However, ever since their offseason started, it's been a lot of talking and chattering and some unwanted attention to this team. Now, people already wanted to trade Duncan Robinson. Kyle Lowry is definitely not a fan favorite anymore, especially with him not being in shape. His age has caught up to him. Well, at least that's what it has looking out, out of the last few games. And Tyler Hero seems to be getting back in the spotlight for a little bit of the wrong reasons. Right now, they're saying that he has cheated on his ex-girlfriend, something that I feel like shouldn't be related to basketball. But Pat Riley then stated today that if he wants to be a starter, has to transition into a two-way player. We all know that he can score anywhere on the court. It's just we need him to show some defensive intensity. That's the only thing that's stopping the Miami Heat from making it to the NBA championship. Actually, being able to win it all. Now, some players in the league are just injury prone. And some players in the league are injury prone because of poor conditioning. And some of the players on the roster just need to, I would say, embrace the Heat culture. And if they can't, they will be on the chopping block. According to NBC Sports, it's a rumor that the Miami Heat would love to trade for Patrick Beverly, a guy who was just traded to the Minnesota Timberwolves and had an immediate impact. An impact so great that he earned himself a $13 million contract extension. Even Carl Anthony Towns said that he is one of the main reasons for their success. He's great in the locker room. He's able to do things on the defensive side of the ball, play make, keep other guys' heads on their shoulders. He's a veteran that has played a good amount of time in the NBA, and that's something that the Miami Heat need. Someone that can give you production and is willing to accept your culture. Now, on the season, he was able to average 9.2 points, 4.1 rebounds, and 4.6 assists per game, while shooting 40.6% from the field and 34.3% from downtown. In my opinion, I believe that he can at least fight for a starting spot if they do trade Kyle Lowry. Now, SB Nation put out an article titled Pat Riley Issues Challenges to Miami Heat Players. In the article, it states that Pat Riley says that Tyler Hero, Duncan Robinson, and Max Struess all might just owe a little bit of their check to Bam Adebayo. By him putting so much effort on the defensive side of the ball, it's kind of hindering his offensive game and allowing the other players to flourish. If Tyler Hero actually wants to start, then he will have to at least get in the weight room, put on at least 10 more extra pounds. He has the feet, he has that ability, and all of the other players on the Miami Heat can also do it as well. They're being fair to every single player on the roster, and what more can you ask for? This is what I really love about the Heat Nation, and if you don't get the concept, then you can unsubscribe right now. The Miami Heat, they are going somewhere. And even if they don't win the championship next year, I guarantee you they will have the opportunity within the two seasons after that. As long as they're able to keep up their culture, put the right players in their locker room, then they will always get far in the NBA playoffs. Now, before I head out, you guys, I do have two questions. But first, make sure you follow me on both of my Instagram pages. Once I reach 1,100 followers, I will be giving away an NBA jersey of your choice. And make sure you follow my main Scotty Ice channel. Don't forget to smash like on the video because it will help with the YouTube algorithm. Now, the questions that I have for today is, one, do you think that Patrick Beverly will be a great fit for the Miami Heat? For me, I believe so. But what are we actually willing to give for him? Would you trade Patrick Beverly and maybe get a first round or second round pick with another player and give up Duncan Robinson and maybe Omar Yurcevin? That's the rumor that has been going around. Now, me personally, I believe that Duncan Robinson is expendable. And even Omar Yurcevin, if they went out and got Isaiah Hartenstein off the free agency market, who played for the Los Angeles Clippers last season, then he will be able to fill that void. The 24 year old seven foot center was able to average 8.3 points, 4.9 rebounds, and 2.4 assists per game, while shooting 62.6% .6 from downtown and 46.7% from three-point range. Just trust me, you guys. Go look at his highlights, and you will be able to understand. 
Now, the second question that I have for today is, is who is the biggest target for the Miami Heat this offseason? Should they go after a big name player? Somebody like Jeremy Grant, Bradley Bill, or even try again with James Harden? Or should they go after a few minor players, tweak their roster a little bit, and get some draft compensation? For me, I think that they need a two-way player. I said that TJ Warren should go to the Dallas Mavericks, and I know that him and Jimmy Butler did have a feud a little while ago. Well, it was a few seasons, but they could work wonders together. TJ Warren can score. He can defend multiple positions. I know it's a long shot, but I think it's something worth looking into. But you guys tell me what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to smash that like button. And as always, this your boy Scotty Ice, aka Baby Bron, and you already know, I'm out.